Hey YouTube, it's Lucky Duck 22 Today I'm coming at you with a video review of the My 3D apps that I gave you an overlook at last week of the My 3D Viewer. So today I'm going to share with you the six available applications that they have to use with the 3D Viewer. So first what you're going to want to do is access the App Store. And you're going to want to do a search. So type in my 3D, hit the search button. It'll come up with all that are available. I believe there's a, a couple of tutorial videos before you actually get into the available games, but everything that's available will come up right there. Like I said, there are six free games at the moment and I've already downloaded them. So I won't go through that with you. I'll just open up the folder and show you what we have. We've got 360 Sharks, Bubble Bolt, Sector 17, Shatterstorm, Teleport LA, and Tunnel Pilot. So I'll give you a brief overview of each one. Let's go into the My 3D 360 Degree Sharks game. And what you're going to see here is in 2D because I obviously don't have this connected to the My 3D Viewer. So it's going through the directions and normally you would already have this attached to the 3D Viewer, which is why you'll see two separate screens. It would look in 3D dimension at this point, but instead we're just going to see it in 2D. Give it a minute here. Turn it down some more guys, I don't want the volume to overpower us. So the My 3D 360 Degree Sharks app is a not, not really a game, it's more just an application that allows you to explore and hunt the living ocean through the eyes of a shark. You get to choose your shark. Um, so far I've found that you can either be a hammerhead shark or a great white. You search for treasures, shipwrecks, and other surprises, and you can even break the surface of the water to see the upper world. There are, on the screen right now, there are six different environments that you can explore. I'm just going to stick with Emerald Reef. There it comes. Okay. So it's giving you a mission. You want to eat your prey. You get 350 points if you do. And um, basically, you're using the gyroscope in the iPhone 4 or iPod Touch, depending on what you would have. And you just move it around. So as you move it around, you'll see different scenarios, different scenes. Trying my best to move it around, but keep it in camera here. So like I said, The application does talk to you throughout the um, game, kind of leads you what you need to do. But basically you've got two buttons here, you want to swim or stop or you can go back to the menu. It's been a pretty cool little application, it's obviously definitely much, much better if you have it plugged into the 3D viewer. But go and check out this game if you do have the 3D viewer. Okay, again this is a 360 degree sharps app. Let's go into our next one. And this one was my favorite. It's called the Bubble Bolt. And um, it was my favorite because it's an actual game. And because it's pretty simple. Almost a childlike game. So again, you would normally already have this plugged into your 3D viewer. All right, it gives you uh, three choices. You can become a fish, a shark, or a starfish. Uh, you do stay in the little bubble looking thing. I'm just gonna stick with the fish here. And I'm gonna choose the adventure mode. And let's do cakewalk. So there you are, you're that little fish looking guy. And I don't know if you can make out the outline, but you are in a bubble.
It's a puzzle game in which you want to collect as many shells uh, before you get to the pond and then make it on to the next level. There's 25 levels, so use your phone and just tilt it towards the shells. And like I said, you want to collect as many shells as you can. Ah, trying to play through the lens of the camera, guys, so, so sorry. Bear with me. I'm not looking at my actual device. I'm looking through the camera. So I didn't get as many shells as I wanted to, but I did end up in the pond. So pretty cool game, one of my favorites because it's it, it's fairly simple, easy to use. Children can play this one. This is my favorite, it's called Bubble Bowl. All right guys, so what I've got here is our next game. It's called Sector 17. And what it is, is a 3D, 360 degree shooter game in which you are the galaxy's last defense. So you've got 22 levels, a selection of weapons to choose from, and you're basically in a fighter, fighter plane, fighter jet, and you're shooting at the enemies, so you've got to watch out from above and below you, and you want to obviously shoot the bad guys. So I'm just going to go into the first level here, which was just the training. Sergeant Jim Walters of the Galactic Trade Organization here. Nice to meet you. Tonight, we're patrolling Sector 17. If there's a bright spot in this miserable galaxy, you're headed in the opposite direction. I've heard you're a crack shot, so tonight, you're on gun duty. I'll fly. Don't worry. I know this system like the back of my hand. Well, look at that. Pirate cruiser, directly in front of us. Must have gotten lost. Line them up in your sights, and uh, let's send them back home. So guys, I know I'm not giving you a very great, good angle here, but what you want to do is you want to line up your little triangle, and you start shooting, and you shoot at the bad guys. So you line them up in your view, turn left and right, and you just shoot at them until they explode like that. And you just do that. Like I said, there's 22 levels through here. It's a pretty fun game. It looks much, The graphics are much better, definitely, in 3D. So keep that in mind. So check that one out, that's Sector 17. All right, what we have next is the My 3D Shatterstorm. Let's go ahead and check this one out. And this is a 60 challenging levels. You want to defend the galaxy from the invasion of the drones. It's another futuristic pilot shooter type game. Uh, you pick up points by destroying enemies in quick succession. So somewhat similar to uh, Sector 17 in that it's that whole futuristic pilot shooter type game. Uh, a little bit different in that the graphics here, as you can see, is, is going to be different. You want to try and move around the box. There's this green outline of a box right here. And you want to flip around. And you're at the very, very bottom. There you are. And as you move the, the phone, see how the fi fighter pilot moves as, as well? You don't want to run into the, the airplanes themselves that are coming at you. You want to shoot them. I'm not doing too well at this, guys, because, again, I'm trying to play through the lens of the camera. Uh, I didn't do very well. Got zero points on that one. Oh, no. I lied. I got 300. Awesome. All right. So that one was uh, Shatterstorm. I like that one a little bit better than Sector 17, but that's my own personal opinion. What we've got up next is called Teleport LA. Santa Monica Pier. Look around for as long as you like. When you're ready to test your wits, tap the screen with both thumbs. Okay. So what this is, guys, it's not a game. It's just an application. It's a unique 360-degree 3D interactive virtual tour of Los Angeles. 
up to the Santa Monica Pier. You can explore or play mini games. So what you're looking for is the Ferris wheel. You have 30 seconds to find it. And when you think you've found it, which I think I have, I'm trying to keep this on camera here. There it is. Can't show you guys. There, I think I, do you see it up at the corner there? You want to hit it? So I found the Ferris wheel within the 30 second allotment. So it's going to give me another hint. Find a blue building. So you just move your phone left, right, up, and down to see the different sites and look for whatever it is it's asking you to look for. So this is called Teleport LA. It's pretty cool if you want just a simple no-brainer type of game slash application. And last but not least is Tunnel Pilot. Let's go ahead and show you what this one's about. It's a 3D racing in underground tunnels. It's got 12 unique tracks, six racers, and you're battling for supremacy of land, sea, and air. Let's do the water. Sure, let's do track one. Let's go with that racer. Just all kinds of instructions. I won't bore you to, with the details. You guys can check these out yourselves. So basically you're the racer and here you go. Just wanna use the gyroscope. And you obviously wanna come in in first place. Again, the graphics on this one is actually really, really quite good actually makes me a little bit motion sickness when I'm using the 3D viewer. So this would be my second favorite game next to the Bubble Bolt one. Not doing too well trying to play here through the again lens of the camera guys, sorry. But as you can see, it's just a racer type game. I'm on my second lap and uh, I think I'm, I'm in third place. Oh wait, no. Yeah, no, I'm back in third place. Okay. Not doing so hot. But anyway guys, you should definitely check out all six of these games. I do believe some of them will no longer be free after May 1st, and some of them will continue to be free. I'm not sure which ones. You can always check them out in the App Store. And this has been my review of the six available games or apps for the My3D Viewer. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you guys in the next video.